Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Lamar Odom. He is free. He's the Gauntlet Reward. Massive shout out to my boy Hayden, who went 12 0 in my team unlimited to get this Lamar Odom card, which is an incredibly hard task to do. This is a card that I expect will be pretty darn rare. I think he will be definitely rarer by a decent chunk than both Joe Johnson and Chris Bosch were because Unlimited has skill based matchmaking and uh clutch time online triple that online do not so this is a tough gameplay to get for sure and i'm really glad that we're able to get this one for y'all today so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 16,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of daily content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado lamar odom is six foot ten at small forward or power forward i think he's better at power forward but i think he'll be a good small forward as well the thing about this card is i think he's both he's very good at both small forward and power forward but i'm a little worried i don't think he makes the best lineup is my thing like i think he's borderline top five at both positions but i'm just i don't know 97 offense 93 defense though statistically he's solid not insane very well rounded 92 driving layup 84 post stats across the board 86 midi 85 three ball 85 driving dunk 86 ball handle 85 block 85 parameter 85 interior 85 offensive defense rebounding 87 speed suit ball 84 excel 85 lateral quickness 85 vert 85 strength 95 stamina like it's so much middle like just solid he's average he's good at shooting he's good at dunking he's good at ball handling he's good at defense he's good at rebounding he's good at athleticism and has good speed he's decently strong he's a good vertical like he's a good card and everything but he's not like insane anywhere 10 hops are fearless finisher useless post res are good slithery kind of useless corner specialist pretty good and the third are kind of useless post playmaker kind of useless two-step well depends if you use those a lot big driver pretty good physical handles pretty good bulldozer very good uh 30 golds include badges like acrobat fast twitch post spin catch and shoot claymore slippery off ball ankle breaker bailout breaks that are handles for days Unpluckable chase down artist, bunny, precision dunker, blow by, relay passer, drop stepper on silver, clamps, pick, dodger, post, lockdown, touch passer, and master. The good part about this card is that every badge is upgradable, so you can upgrade all of his silver badges and stuff. Uh, upgrade his gold badges if you'd like. And you can add five badges to him. The badges that he, he needs more than five, though, is the problem. Badges that you would want to add rise up, agent three, blinders, that's three. Dead eye is four, guard up is five, limitless range is six, anchor is seven, glove is eight, interceptor is nine, rebound chaser is ten, brick wall is eleven, free points is twelve, speed booster is thirteen fast feed is 14 right stick ripper you can't add neither of you those last few you can't add because those badges aren't findable but you can only add five badges this card and like he needs like 10 plus so he's gonna be missing some important stuff regardless which is a little bit unfortunate uh even compared to guys like luol dang and obviously lebron in terms of his animations they're pretty good i wouldn't say they're next level insane the thing about this card is at small forward i do think there's three or four guys who are better than him and then at power forward it's the same thing three or four guys are better than him so he doesn't make the best team in the game on day one which is i mean i don't think that's a i don't think that's a huge like i don't think it's a, the biggest deal in the entire world but it's definitely a bit disappointing to see that i don't think Think this uh, Odom card as a whole is going to be that amazing like I think he's a good reward but I think for how hard he is to get which he is really hard to get and I will say release is nice overall going to be a very very solid card athletic off the pick and pop able to attack the drum solid defensive card fully badged he'll be a menace for sure there's a lot to like but this is like the hardest to grind card that we've seen in a long time very long time 12, we haven't seen a 12 and 0 card in a long time and back when 12 and 0s were a thing there wasn't skill based matchmaking the game was not as sweaty as it is now the game is very sweaty now this is a card that the vast majority of people simply have no chance at getting like even i i haven't played the game this much this as much this year i used to be one of the best players in the world a couple years ago not quite there as much anymore and i think i would struggle 100 to do this i've only won 12 games in a row a few times this year like i think it's happened two or three times so far i am not exactly the most consistent unlimited player going on huge win streaks this year it's it's not easy so it's not a card a lot of people are going to have and i feel like he should be more rewarding for how hard he is to grind but that's just my opinion i do think he's pretty good and i'm excited to try him out but i also think he's going to be really unattainable and by the time people might have it be able to attain him after four five six tries here in a couple weeks there's going to be even more better options than him so it's kind of a shame because a card for that's this hard to get should be more rewarding to grind but um let's hop into a game see what odom can do all right, going up against Ronnie, who's got Magic, Harden, PG, Giannis, and D-Rob. Great, great squad. Uh, we got ourselves a really good team, though, as well. Obviously, Lamar Odom matched against Giannis. That's the perfect matchup. That's the guy that he has to be able to guard at a very high level to be a great power forward. The thing is, this card is very good, but so is Chet Holmgren, and so is Chris Bosh, especially if you have a badged up Chris Bosh, and so is Pascal Siakam, and so are a bunch of other power forward options. So is Giannis, if you have him locked in. KD and Braun, both of whom get run a lot of power forward, are just as good, if not, well, they're both better, probably. Luol Dang at small forward is better. Like, this is a good card, 
Biden. That's a good first look. Knock down three ball. We'll take it. I just think he should have been the best card for how hard he is to get. The complaint is not that Lamar Odom is a bad card, at least for me, because I actually do think he is very solid. I just think the complaint is that he should have been one of the very best in the entire game and unfortunately doesn't look like that's the case so far. Good spin move with SGA but, or with uh, Magic, but we do manage to get enough of a contest. Lamar Odom running in transition. I would say badge-wise, by the way, with all the badges that he can get, if you do wind up getting this card and wanting to use it on your team, I would add speed booster, limitless range on three defensive badges. That's probably what I would do. I, would just, I want to turn this card into the most viable defensive wing possible so that I can play him viably at power forward or maybe even at small forward and if you have a shoot lock at shooting guard like a Jimmy Butler or somebody like that Ron Artest uh like I would like to have this card be a little bit more powerful and impactful defensively nice post hook greens the post hook against mismatches man people are not expecting the post hook it's something I've been starting to pull out a little bit more and I find that it's actually pretty effective good board as well for Odom he's playing quite well so far pro behind the back is a great behind the back again this is not for me to like I think my title is literally going to be something along the lines of Diamond Lamar Odom gameplay great card but he should have been better for the way that the grind is. You know what I mean? Like that's the way that I feel about this Odom card. It's not that he is not a good card. And actually the way he's playing so far, I'm actually thinking he might be better than I previously thought. Like I'm thinking he might be the third best power forward or fourth, I guess best. Well, but he's behind LeBron too. But if you consider LeBron a small forward and Hakeem a center, he's the third best small power forward in the game behind Giannis and KG potentially that's i think that's a pretty justifiable argument i think you could definitely at least make the argument that that is the case if you're considering hakeem a center and Giannis and kd or lebron and kd i should say uh small forwards and stuff like that then odom is probably the third best power forward in the game which is a very solid card it's just not what you kind of would hope for especially from a gauntlet that is this hard good defense by odom the wall up he doesn't go up on odom either that's pretty nice to see 610 dude denying that uh that attempt to go up there we'll x switch this back get odom back on to Giannis we're only we're up by uh we could easily have a few more buckets I feel like than we do right now but still up by five and playing great so far let's throw it up to Jimmy and then we'll just hopefully he's going to help a little bit with Giannis he didn't help quite as much as I'd like him to but I'm going to try to get to the baseline here and get myself a dunk if I can go by him oh my gosh Lamar Odom that was really nice he didn't get that much separation either and I was just able to go up and dunk it from pretty far away Lamar Odom with the impressive stick dunk like what I'm seeing there defense or offensively defensively as well very good possession another steal and another run out in transition Lamar Odom cut to the rim throw the lob I was supposed to be a lob but I'll take the inside layup uh Lamar Odom dominating right now I mean he, he is he's playing great this squad we're playing against very good team I wouldn't say my opponent has been the most impressive so far but uh Lamar Odom has certainly been very impressive so far let's see what you can do defensively against Harden on the perimeter uh gets cooked ran fast that was more my fault though on ball defense than anything else uh, but we might have takeover hold on no we do not quite have takeover uh let's push the ball Lamar Odom all the way to the rim coast to coast Lamar oh I thought he was gonna finish that that was definitely pretty contested not a great shot selection one of our first honestly poor decisions of the game we've missed a couple of shots but I'd say most of our decisions have been pretty good that one was not quite as much but we still are up 11 to 4 looking like we're gonna close this game out pretty comfortably and pretty confidently playing very very well for sure um 11 to 4 lead is he i don't know what adjustments he might be making i think this game's pretty much already over but i i guess all right we're back i don't know why we sit in pause menu for a minute um while during a clutch time game i don't really know what you could be changing to be honest but it is what it is reset the ball up top i think he knows that i'm trying to go to lamar odom and uh so he's it's kind of tough to do and especially it's tough to do when you're being guarded by Giannis, who's like arguably the best defensive card in the game but nice fade lamar oh my gosh he greened that that was a tough shot no agent threes as well i'm shocked i hit that as an open good fade though i think that's normal fade he's a lefty so the normal fade to the right is going to give you what you would expect to the left with a regular normal fade but another good defensive possession lebron that time making a play and we're going to run the court we're gonna go pick and pop here i'm gonna same side burst to the left if i can get baseline on paul george hit our pop back to odom odom um chill let's ch okay relax reset it let's go pick and pop here he's gonna be a bit gassed so i'd like to get him to come set me a screen up high if i could and i guess i'll just take my dunk here because that's what's most open 16 to 4 lead this has been a pretty much an obliteration lamar odom has been very very solid which i i mean like i said like i keep saying very good card he's been very impressive i just think you're gonna see this card eight times like i don't think you're gonna play against him barely at all so it's a little bit of a weird thing athletically he's solid only an 85 driving dunk but it feels super solid and he's got play take as well as his base takeover at least with whoever hayden's coach is i don't even know who hayden's coach is but uh if it's dan tony that's interesting whoever it is if play take is his base takeover like for most coaches that's an interesting takeover for sure that i'm not really 
used to on a power forward, but I actually kind of like. So we're going to go pick and pop here and try to be a little bit of a playmaker, either for yourself or for your teammates. That I don't really care. Go dunk on somebody. Look at... Oh, that's a good dribble drive, too. He did get a good animation. He's just gassed. Misses the layup because of the lack of stamina there because he's tired. So we'll live with it. But overall, I'm very impressed by this Lamar Odom card. I think he's played very well this game. Good defense as well. Game just gives me a foul animation. Seven seconds left. I guess we might as well try to make something happen in those last seven seconds. 14-3 and one. We could maybe stat pad one or so of those areas um a little bit more but 7.4 seconds left it's been a very solid performance i have been very impressed by this lamar odom card as a whole i really do think he's shockingly good at the uh, power forward position in my team so gotta say pretty impressed spin through oh that was gonna be a dunk too in the game lets me get stripped by honest why am i getting stripped there regardless i mean efficiency wise it wasn't insane but six of 11 two or three from three 14 three and one you love to see it let's hop back to the main menu let's review the card i was actually very impressed by lamar odom i really do think he's quite a good card i just don't think he's like the very best team in the game he doesn't make does he make a lot of teams better yes the problem is the people who are good enough to get this card of which there are not that many are not the people who are going to take use of this card and it's something i was talking about on twitter this morning my boy jacob was and some other people and it's just i don't I, I made a whole video complaining about this whole thing it's not that lamar odom is a bad card i've said that 10 times and i'll say it one more it's just the reward doesn't match the grind and the grind itself does not match the times the way that the game is these days realistically so i just i i don't know not a huge fan of that but for those of y'all the very few who do actually get lamar odom congratulations and i hope you enjoy the card because he is a very usable very good card who will make some people's teams better i just don't think very many people are going to get the card realistically and i really do think the vast majority of people who do are not going to actually wind up using lamar odom very much so with that being said, that's all I got to say. So I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.